All right, we're going to try an example to find the measure of angle R and S. You can use the inverse trig ratios to help us solve for these missing angle measures. So let's use angle R as our angle of reference and label our diagram. 16 would be our opposite leg, 63 is our adjacent leg, and 65 is the hypotenuse. So because I have all three sides, I could use sine, cosine, or tangent. But let's start with tangent. That was the first one we learned. So if I'm looking for the tangent of R, that ratio is the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. We've done that, and we've calculated it as a fraction and a decimal. To get the angle measure, we have to do the inverse. So to undo the tan, we are going to do the inverse tan. We've already shown you where this is on your calculator. So that get, eliminates the tangent here, and I'm going to find the measure of angle R. So in our calculator, we are going to find that trig function, the inverse above the tan, the tan negative one, and then we're actually entering 16 divided by 63. So let's calculate that. If you need help with the calculator, please ask. So hopefully when we do that, we get approximately 14.3 degrees. We're talking about angle measures here. So I've solved for the measure of angle R. Let's look for angle S. I'm gonna change my angle of reference so I should relabel my diagram. So from angle S now, 16 is my adjacent leg, 63 is opposite, and my hypotenuse stays the same. So let's use the sign this time to solve for the measure of angle S. So just setting up our ratio, the sign of S would equal the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. We want to undo that and actually find the angle measure. So again, the inverse operation we're using is the same. So now I am left with the measure of angle S equals, in our calculator, we're going to use that trig function, the inverse sine, 63 divided by 65. And when we calculate that, the measure of angle S will come to 75.7 degrees if I round that. And these two angles are our acute angles. They should add up to 90 degrees because that's what's left in our triangle. If they don't add up to 90 degrees, I did something in error.